Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Sandhya, I'm a travel blogger and this video is all about what I packed for my Kenya trip. I am super excited. This is the first time I'm going to Kenya. <laughs> into uh, telling you what all I am packing for the trip. I just want to tell you a little background of how I plan my packing essentials whenever I plan for a trip. In case if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and check Pink Pebbles so you'll see all my cool OTDs and reels about travel to different countries. Then you will understand how well planned I am when it comes to packing. So before I even um, start packing or buying stuff, first I am going to check a lot of reels, a lot of YouTube videos and see a lot of pictures of how the uh, geography is, what is the temperature, which season I am going, what to expect so that I know that what are the quite essential clothing or the shoes or accessories I need. That is when I, that is the first thing I start before anything else. So the next step is after I do all my research, I noted down like, okay, these are the outfits I need. This is the color combination and uh, these are the texture of clothing I need and even if the accessories, if I need a hat or a cap or sunglasses or a waterproof jacket, I would sit down and make a list for everything. So guys, after I make the list, then I will start checking out from my storage. So I have different kinds of storage. So all my vacation outfits, which I usually cannot wear during those flowy dresses and all during the regular days when Bangalore going to office. So I store them in a separate cupboard. So I just raid my cupboard and try to check like what are the dresses I can reuse them? Uh, what are the combinations I can wear? How, what kind of shorts I have and everything you know sometimes we tend to forget that we have certain kinds of clothes if you don't see them regularly so I first make a list of it and take all of them out first thing is the reason I do this is because I really don't want to spend a lot of money shopping for every trip because I travel so frequently that it is very expensive to shop second thing is like uh, I want to save money so that I can invest the money in more travels and more experiences so once I take out all these things and I try them, I try different combinations. Like for example, if I have white shorts, then I'll try to pair it up with two, three t-shirts or a shirt and see if they can fit into the theme that I am planning for the destination. So once I have all the uh, clothes, which I already have, and then I will try to shop and check what are the things that I actually need and go to Amazon or Mintra and shop it. In case if you're not already following me on Instagram, go ahead check Pink Pebble. I link every every OTD that I wear every shop shopping I do for the trip so that and I also link all these reels in the guide session on Instagram so that you can go and have a quick reference anyways now without a further ado let's see what I'm packing for Kenya so for this trip I'm going to take the suitcase and I have plans to take just one suitcase I'm not taking any cabin suitcase I'll be just carrying my accessories my camera accessories bag because it's a really short trip according to me 10 days is a really short trip because I usually go for like 20 days trip so I'm planning to take less clothes and plus Kenya you it's it's a like you'll only be in the wild safari so you can repeat a lot of dresses and you don't need those huge flowy gowns and everything so I am planning to pack really really compact so this is the suitcase I'm going to pack in and I'm going to get my packing cubes so guys these are the packing cubes I've been using for more than three years and I'm going to leave the link in the description you can go ahead and buy it from Amazon and these are trust me roll they will pack your stuff really really in an organized way Ever since I started using packing cube for the first time, I have not packed my luggage without packing cubes. Um, so yeah, so I am uh, going to put each dresses. So first I'll show you uh, different outfits right away. So guys, the first outfit is this breezy skirt and uh, it's a floral print, but then the, the color combination makes it look like it's a cheetah print. And this I'm going to wear it to the lake. And all the color combination, what I chose for the entire trip is beige, white, browns and uh, earthy colors. So I'm going to wear this tank top, crop tank top on top of this and wear a scarf. Uh, where is the scarf? So I'm going to wear this uh, leopard print scarf on it. It looks really, really amazing. 
amazing. Um, so this is my first outfit. So guys, the next one is this uh, beige cargo pants. So I'm going to leave the link of all these uh, clothes in the description below. So these are uh, quite comfortable cotton pants and you can go with different colors like olive green. You can go with uh, camouflage uh, print colors, white, beige, lighter colors on this because they go very well with the entire forest background. Uh, and also Kenya, I was told that uh, there were a lot, lot of bugs and mosquitoes in Kenya, so it's better to wear mostly covered clothes. I did pack few shorts though, but uh, also I'm packing a couple of um, fully covered pants, so this one. And because it is um, Masai Mara theme, I am going to wear this zebra print top on this. And I'm going to layer this combination with a white shirt. I'm not opening this because I am scared that I'm going to you know, wrinkle it before I reach uh, Kenya. So yeah, this is the white shirt I'm going to wear. And I'm going to reuse this white shirt in a couple of more outfits. White really stands out in pictures, especially the like, kind of landscapes that I'm going. So guys, the next one is I plan a couple of outfits which are fully white, uh, just for the aesthetic sake. And also Kenya is hot and uh, it's very hot, right? So I just wanted to wear something which can cool me down during the entire trip. So I'm carrying these uh, wide like jeans, wide denim, and I'm also carrying uh, the shorts. So I have not yet decided whether I'm going to wear the denim or the shorts for all white. This depends on the temperature and uh, uh, that day of the mood of the day, sorry. I'm going to decide that. So I'm, uh, I'm going to wear this again, a crop top, white crop top. So it's all white and white. And I bought this beautiful jacket. Uh, recently and I'm going to leave the link also so look at this so I thought this will just give a very nice vibe of complete white and plus this is also pure cotton so it will be nice and breezy so guys the next outfit is this cargo shorts I always wanted a cargo shorts ever since I went to Egypt I have seen a lot of foreigners wearing different types of cargo shorts and luckily I found this short this looks so sexy on me I tried it and uh, again sticking to the same um, forest theme I am wearing this earthy color olive tank top. So uh, you must have noticed that I have like these tank tops in multiple colors. I've bought one before my Egypt trip and I just love the way it fits and it's just like 400 or 500 rupees. So I bought like different colors. So I'm going to wear both, both of these. And um, on top of it, either I'm going to wear this checks shirt. I'm again, I'm not opening it because I don't want to crush it. And uh, or I am going to wear this jacket. So this Jacket, I have to open it and show it to you because it's really, really unique thing. It's more like a shrug kind of a thing and it has a hoodie and a zip. It is really, really classy. So I'm going to layer it. So I'm carrying a lot of layers uh, to layer up my clothes in Kenya. So guys, the next one is I am will I will be going for a hot air balloon ride uh, in Masai Mara. And uh, also I wanted something slightly fancy which fits me well so this tube jumpsuit I got from Mindra so it is really really nice I love the pleated uh, pleated uh, elements here uh, so this I'm planning to wear for the hot air balloon right so guys the next is I wanted a theme of all denim so I am going to wear this denim shirt and uh, this shirt also I will be using to layer it up in uh, my white and white uh, so it's always advisable to carry one good denim shirt so that you can um, wear it on your denim, you can wear it on as a layer and also you can wear it on the flight, it will keep you warm. So I'm carrying this and I'm carrying this Tommy Hilfiger ripped jeans. This is my recent favorite jeans. I love wearing this and it's a mommy fit. So, and high waist, so it's quite comfortable while traveling. So next comes are some breezy dresses. So I think this is one of those trips that I'm not carrying much of dresses, but I thought if I'm going evening uh, out somewhere for, um, for checking out local market or something, I want to wear something breezy. So I bought this uh, plaid dress from Mintra. In fact, I did a reel on, on plaid dresses to buy in Mintra. Go check out on my Instagram. So this is a very easy breezy dress and also, um, I'm sticking to the color palette here. Um, so yeah, so and I have one more dress for a party wear. So we are planning to go for pub hopping. Uh, I'm not sure how it is in Kenya, so I'm quite excited. So I packed one dress for that. I'll just show it to you. So guys, this is the dress I packed 
for the party and uh, yeah so this is lightweight so and plus it is uh, it is safe to wear it because i really don't know how the party scenes are in kenya um considering all the aspects i just felt that this is safe and also it looks uh, it looks quite cool to wear for a evening uh, dinner or for a party so this is the only party dress that i'm carrying so guys this is one um a uh, cord set i'm carrying so this is like a alternate blouse and a cord set so this i'm carrying as a backup because we are going uh, in a group trip and uh, we will be there in kenya during the independence day and i guess they're planning to celebrate something on that they're hoisting a flag and celebrating independence day in kenya so i thought um this color will go with it and plus it is cotton and it's also the color um plus so uh, you do you know that kenya in kenya there is a strong community of indians indian food and uh, they really love indians there um so i am quite excited to learn that aspect when i'm traveling to kenya so guys i'm also carrying these a um, couple of whites and beige tops and also this brown one and black shorts just to like as a backup and i'm carrying couple of t-shirts like this uh because some day and if i just don't want to wear these crop tops and i want to feel comfortable or during the or while transiting for the airport or while traveling from one city to another for the comfort sake i carry a couple of these cotton t-shirts like that with uh, my track pants so that they will be like really comfortable when you are traveling in the cities so guys another travel essentials when you are traveling uh, abroad is hats and caps so i am against i always stick to these neutral colors so that they go with almost everything um so yeah so i got the sun hat from amazon i love the fact that it just covers most of my face and kenya will be super hot and uh, this safari cap i bought it again from amazon so it comes with this string especially when you are on breezy safaris you need this I'm looking like a cowgirl right <laughs> and um, this is my favorite cap i carry this everywhere in fact i am more comfortable wearing caps than hat um for some reason i just find these are little girly and i want i'm comfortable wearing a cap uh, except for the pictures where i want to wear this breezy dress and throw my hat and pose that is when i wear these kind of fancy hats but this is my personal favorite so guys the next thing is i carry a quick drying towel and of course undergarments i packed for 10 days and also a couple of pair of night suits so that completes my clothing essentials now i am talking about the cosmetics so this is one cosmetic bag that i carry i believe in minimalistic makeup in fact i hardly do makeup um and uh, so this bag has everything what i require right from toothbrush body lotion shampoos everything uh, go check out my instagram reel i made a very cool reel of what i packed for kenya in this so this one is all my medicine so in case if you're not aware kenya if you're planning to travel to any african country you need to get uh, vaccinated for yellow fever also polio drops so i've got both of them already done i also carry my personal first aid kit so this includes um, headache tablets no uh, motion sickness tablet and uh, cold act a uh, mosquito repellent spray bug repellent spray because kenya has a lot of bugs and mosquitoes so i am not recommending any tablets here because i know these suit me but it does, may not suit you also check with your doctor what tablets you should carry and works what works well for you so i carry acidity tablets and yeah basically vix uh, zandu balm and stuff and I also i carry this uh, mini scrap bandage if you know me well you know that i do a lot of adventure activities when i am traveling so this is quite essential in case of something happens so yeah so this is my medical kit so that's how about it and next i'm going to show you what shoes i'm packing so guys i'm only carrying like three pairs of footwear so this is uh, my these are my white sneakers and this is for my airport or walking a lot walking around so these are quite comfortable and pretty lightweight and uh, when i go to safari and uh, for deserts or something i like to carry these boots so i've worn them in egypt they're quite comfortable they're slightly heavy uh, but uh, i start enjoying wearing boots on my uh, for my travels but if the luggage is like too heavy and uh, then i don't pack them but now that the i'm within the luggage limit and there are less days so i can afford to carry these boots these are from marks and spencer super cool boots and uh, third thing is bathroom slippers so 
I don't want to carry your bathroom slippers or flip flops to wear outside or you know when you're going for a buffet or something so I rather carry my crocs uh, these are from Bali and uh, yeah these are my bathroom slippers come like normal slip on slippers so these are the only three things I'm carrying and few pair of socks so guys this pretty much sums up my packing list and I am not covering my gadgets packing because I'm planning to do a separate reel because as a travel blogger you know I have multiple gadgets and uh, it will be a very cool video but I really don't have time before the trip right now but maybe during the trip after the trip I'll come and cover my travel gadgets which includes tripod camera what memory cards i use everything so stay tuned for it and in case if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe right now i'm ending the video right now here and don't forget to subscribe and follow my kenya series it'll be amazing it'll be epic i am going to go to kenya during the great migration and this happens once in a year so i'm super thrilled about it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video Bye bye